In order to set up Link to Windows on Xiaomi 15 Ultra, first we need to go to the settings. Then over here we want to go to more connectivity options and then you should be able to find Link to Windows. So we can go over here and then we should be able to sign in to our Microsoft account. However, I believe the best way to do so is by using the QR code that we can get on our PC. On your Windows, you want to open Phone Link. This app should be actually pre installed on your device. And then you should be able to either log in, or if you are already logged into your account, you want to choose your device. So, of course, in our case, we need to select Android. And then we will generate this QR code. And we need to go back to our phone. And we want to use sign in using the QR code. Of course, we want to allow link to windows to take pictures and then scan the code then we need to press continue and on windows you will see this short code that you need to enter over here after that you might need to confirm that this is your account so you will need to either provide the password or send the code to your gmail or your microsoft account and after that you might be asked to allow link to windows to send and view messages so you can allow that you can allow uh, making phones and everything else so that the app has access to these things on and can grant those information to your PC. Then we also have the power usage so uh, we can also set it to no restrictions even though battery saver is recommended you can actually set it to no restrictions if you want to of course. Over here we can deny this and there we go device linking is complete we can press done. Over here we have some additional settings that we can go through, you can find your linked account and on your windows you should be able to see that you are all set so we can press continue and you should be able to find the welcome message, of course you can select that you want to open phone link every time you, you open windows but you don't have to agree to that, you can just press get started and there we go, we have our phone over here, we should be able to find, for example, messages, photos, and so on and so forth, even apps perhaps, uh, maybe even not. Uh, on the left side over here, we can finish setting up notifications, so we can click over here, open settings on a mobile device, and then you should be able to see um, this on your phone. So it should automatically switch to that menu over here, you should be able to select link to Windows and you can allow notification access. Of course you need to select that you are aware of possible risks and after that we can press OK. So this is only if you want to receive notifications on your computer uh, from your phone. And on Windows in this phone link we have a bunch of different options that we can use. For example over here we can enable and disable do not disturb. This is of course wirelessly so if you press on it immediately your phone will go into the indie mode as well. And you have a bunch of different options here. If you click on the wallpaper over here you can start mobile screen sharing. Of course you need to grant permission so on your phone you need to press that you allow. And then you have the screen sharing option available on your computer. And that is essentially it. Of course, if you want to, you can simply go back uh, by, for example, closing this preview, this uh, screen sharing, or on the phone, we can press the power button. And we still have screen sharing. It still works on our computer, but we can also see the screen on our phone as well. And that is pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like and subscribe to my channel and see you in my next videos. Bye.